Welcome to the Big Picture Retirement Show, where you'll learn what it really takes to have a successful retirement. With over 20 years of experience, your host, Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group has seen it all and is here to help you achieve your retirement dreams. This is the Big Picture Retirement Show. Welcome into the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. I'm Mark Elliott. Glad you're with us today. Rick is a partner at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, has over 20 years of experience in the financial services industry. And this show, we're going to talk about, obviously, the fun things about retirement, right? The trips you want to take and the things you want to do and all of that. But there's also a challenging side of retirement. So we'll touch on those things as well as we go through this week after week after week. Really, the questions are, hey, Rick, can I retire? Well, when can I retire? Do I have enough? My money lasts as long as I need it to. Will my loved ones be okay if something happens to me? Those are big questions. Really, at the end of the day, you just want to know if I, if we retire, will I or will we be okay? We want to maintain our lifestyle. That's really the big question out there uh, when people are trying to decide can they retire or not. Uh, all you have to do is give Rick and the team a call at 800-700-1980. 800-700-1980. There's no constant chat with the team. And you can always go to the website to learn more. A lot of events that they put on, the information is right there on the website as well, safeguardinvestment.com, safeguardinvestment.com. Hey, Rick, how's it going? Real good, Mark. Thanks. Hey, so we're going to talk about the psychology of money, and it's really kind of interesting. I, I was a sports guy for a long time, a coach and radio and all that kind of stuff, um, and I, so I like the psychology of sport. So I coached mm -hmm. golf in the Big 12 for seven years, and I coached quarterbacks before in college. So the quarterbacks and golfers, their minds are kind of interesting because you need to get on them a little bit, but I can't get them going crazy like you would an offensive or defensive lineman because it's okay if they get a little crazy. So the psychology of sport, I think, is very interesting. Today we're going to talk about the psychology of money. And obviously we can go online. There's millions of articles online about investing, tax planning, budgeting, everything you can think of when it comes to preparing for retirement. And there are important facts to know when it comes to your financial future, and certainly knowledge is power, but there is more to financial success than book smarts. So we're going to talk about that today, the psychology of money. Do you have any overall thoughts when I say, Rick, let's talk about the psychology of money today? Well, yeah, I, I think um, when it comes to psychology of money, I, I think it's a scenario where it's really more about education. And I'm not saying education in terms of you know, people need to go out there and take a course in money or things like that. That's too general. When I say education, I'm talking about people being educated on their specific situation. And I think once they understand whether it's retirement planning or investment planning, whatever, based upon their particular scenario, and they're educated on that, then it gives them more power yeah, to, to I, move forward. Yeah, I buy that. I buy that. Well, uh, there's a gentleman out there, Morgan Housel, H-O-U-S-E-L, if you're wondering. He's a partner at Collaborative Fund. He's a former columnist at The Motley Fool and The Wall Street Journal. But he's also the author of the book, The Psychology of Money. And so Morgan says there is more to financial success than just what you know about money and the world of finance. But I think there's so much evidence that what matters in investing is not about what you know. It's not about how smart you are. It's not about where you went to school. It's just how you behave. It's about your relationship with greed and fear your ability to take a long-term mindset, who you trust, how gullible you are, who you seek your information from, that's what actually matters. That's what moves the needle. And we tend to ignore that because it is not analytical. So that is kind of what you were saying too, but like his thing where he's mentioning fear and greed, it's how we look at fear and greed. You think the markets are up. Well, now it's the fear of missing out, FOMO, right? We're, boy, we got to get in. The markets are going crazy. They're really going well. And then the markets start to go the other way, like they did in 08 or 2022. And now it's like, oh, I got to get out. I got to go to cash. So fear is driving us. So how do you look at fear and greed? That's a kind of a good, I think, thing to try to figure out a little bit. And I'm sure you have clients that are fearful of bad markets and who do have the fear of missing out because the markets are going good. They got out. Now they got to get back in. How do you look at that? It boils right back to education. The scenario here is when I see in my specific experience with, with you know, thousands of people that, that we see, the reason why there, there's fear or great people timing the market is because they're too short-sighted. Why would somebody be fearful? If you have a plan and you, because one of the things that we do in, in retirement planning is we prepare for the worst case scenario. We prepare for all the different contingencies that could occur. So if you have a plan and you're looking at things from a more holistic big picture approach, 
then there's nothing to fear because you've already planned for a down market. You plan for bad economies. You plan to make sure that regardless of what happens, you know, your income is going to last the rest of your life and, and vice versa on the other side. So I, I feel that when people are fearful and they're reacting, it's because they don't actually have a big picture approach applied and they're not educated on their overall situation on how their actual investments are designed to perform in good and bad markets. Yeah, because we are emotional human beings. So that certainly does make sense if the markets are bad. We're a little nervous about, wow, my 401k is dropping in value or what have you. Boy, the stock that I had that was phenomenal last year is terrible this year. I mean, so we do react emotionally in both good ways and bad ways. Uh, and one of the things that the team at Safeguard Investment Group wants you to really understand is there are things that you can do, and, and Rick has been talking about education. Well, they actually have a toolkit available for you. This retirement toolkit has retirement guides in it. It also has the webinar that was done by Reed Abedin, a partner of Safeguard Investment Advisor Group with Rick Rivera. There's retirement guides. There's the webinar that is there, and they take their hour-and-a-half presentation that they do typically at restaurants and around the area and made it a 30-minute webinar. So you can watch it right there. All you have to do is text the word TOOLKIT to 951-667-4969. It's all there for your information. Just text the word TOOLKIT to 951-667-4969. We're talking about the psychology of money today. Do you find that certain events trigger emotional reactions from some of the clients you've had for a long time. You've been doing this for a long time, Rick. So you've got clients that have been with you for you know over a decade or so. So when the markets went bad last year, I would imagine you, you didn't get a lot of calls because you've already had this in the plan. But if somebody new came in, they might have been a little bit more nervous because they didn't have the plan yet, maybe. Well, here's what happens when we get, that's the reason why people come in to see us because they're panicking, because they're, they're fearful when they come in to see us, we educate them and we explain the fundamentals. So once they come on board and we create a plan for them, they no longer have to be fearful. But yes, we do get a lot of people that come in and they're fearful because there is no plan. There's no, it's basically, you know, sticking to the fundamentals. Like I said, I, I guess, let me just kind of maybe put it to you this way. Okay. In a way, you know, my partners, like, we're kind of desensitized to down markets because we've been in this industry for so long and we deal with a lot of high-end institutional money managers and everything else, we've seen many down markets, sideway markets. We've seen inflation. We've seen you know, war. We've seen famine. We've seen all these different things. So over the years, applying fundamentals, we know how to leverage these things in your favor. So when the market goes down, or when the market is sideways, or you know, there's political unrest or whatever, we're like, okay, this is like nothing we haven't seen before. We know exactly how to bob and weave based upon what's going on. And, and because we've been in it and, and we're desensitized to it and we know how to leverage these things in our clients' favor, they become kind of just like us because now once they're educated, they understand the overall plan and it's not a situation where the market goes down. Somebody you know, a lot of times they get the, the typical response. Well, you just got to hang in there. It's going to come back. Yeah, we know it's going to come back. But when am I going to be broke by the time it comes back? Right. So there's a lot more to it than that. And this is what we educate them on. We say, hey, listen, when the market's going down, here's what we're doing to leverage this all in your favor. And once the clients understand that and know that we planned for that, then it takes all the anxiety off of them. Yeah, so makes, ultimately, yeah. it's it's really more about the long-term big picture. Right. That makes perfect sense. We're talking about the psychology of money today, both as a concept for how people look at their money and how they emotionally react to it, good, bad, indifferent, I suppose, uh, but also as a book written by Morgan Housel. Morgan is a partner at Collaborative Fund. He says we almost have it backwards with how we teach about finance. You know, what is most important gets most ignored in this field. And even when we are teaching basic financial skills to people, it's the math equations and how to balance a checkbook, which are, which are great skills. I'm not, I'm not demeaning those in the slightest, but there's so much evidence that all that matters, all that matters, that's the right word to use, is just how, is your behavior with money. And I say that because you can be the smartest person in the world. You can have a PhD in finance from MIT, but if you lose your head during a market decline, if you panic during a market decline, none of your intelligence matters. 
So that's really what it comes down to. How do you react? And there's no question, we're emotional. So sometimes we're going to react in a negative way, sometimes in a positive way. Tough situation, the markets are bad. Ooh, I got to go all to cash. The idea is you sit down with a team at Safeguard Investment Advisor Group, and you, you come up with a plan and a strategy. Now, they have to know about you, obviously, first, because they need to know your hopes and dreams, your portfolio. What do you need? Do you need a little bit more money up front because you're going to take some great trips you've always dreamed of? Or do you want to make sure you leave a pretty good nest egg to the, the children and grandchildren, maybe? Everybody's ideas about retirement are different. And so Rick really wants to sit down with you and talk with you about your hopes and dreams. What are you wanting out of retirement? And the idea is by sitting down with the team at Safeguard Investment Advisor Group, there is no no cost whatsoever. There's no obligation, but they have to find out about you. And that's really a two-way street. Do, does Rick and the team feel like a good fit for you? And then are you a good fit for them? So it's an opportunity for you to sit down with the team at Safeguard to figure out so you don't overreact in certain situations, certainly. 800-700-1980 to chat with the team. There's no cost for this. 800-700-1980. We're talking about the psychology of money today. We got more right after this with Rick Rivera right here on the Big Picture Retirement Show. You're listening to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. For more information about Rick and the Safeguard Investment Advisory Group team, go to safeguardinvestment.com. While you're there, you can also download educational retirement guides and sign up for an upcoming seminar. That's safeguardinvestment.com. Now back to the podcast. Glad you're with us today for the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. Rick has over 20 years of experience in the financial industry. You can always go to the website to learn more, safeguardinvestment.com, safeguardinvestment.com. You can find out when the events are, but you can also text. I gave you the, the number to text the toolkit, Retirement Guides and the webinar. Well, you can also text that same number and just put in the line instead of toolkit, text event. You'll find out when the upcoming events are. You can also sign up right there as well. It is text the word event to 951-667-4969, 951-667-4969. So we're talking about psychology of money. And Morgan Housel is a partner of Collabority Fund. He used to write for Motley Fool and the, and the like, but he wrote a book, Psychology of Money. And he, we just played a soundbite at the end of the last segment where he said, look, it doesn't really matter if you, you graduated with a PhD from MIT in finance. It's really the way you react to things. And, you know, if the market goes down, do you go all to cash? Might be the right move, but for some, it's maybe an overreaction because you got time on your side. You're 45, 50. You're not retiring for over a decade, so you don't really panic. How do you look at that? That doesn't matter your really your intelligence level. It's how you handle your behavior. You know what? I'm glad you mentioned that because it actually reminds me, we actually have clients that are actually professors in college, professors in high school that actually teach investments and finance and all that to their students and they're clients of ours. And, and the reason why that is, is because they realize, hey, listen, they're teaching stuff out of a book. They're teaching fundamentals and basics and definitions. What we're doing is we're actually, and, and they'll even tell us, they say, listen, we're not into the minutiae. We're not up on the latest products. We're not dealing with clients every day. We're teaching students about investments in finance, but we're not up on the latest things. And we don't understand how, you know, to minimize taxation on social security through the investments or minimize the taxation on the, on the pension. So from the overall retirement planning standpoint, there's a bigger picture that we're looking at that they realize, hey, listen, you know what? I'm great at my niche, but for when it comes to retirement planning, there's things that I'm just not completely up on. So uh, let me take it a different direction. When I was taking accounting in school, you know, the professors, you know, they teach you, you know, the difference between debits and credits and how to put numbers in the right boxes and keep track of, you know, what should be on a balance sheet or a cash flow statement but they weren't up on the latest tax laws. They couldn't do my taxes. Now, I'm sure they'd be quick to, to get up on that if they were to educate themselves on that, but there's something that they were teaching. They teach all the basics, but they had somebody doing their own taxes. And I guess it's kind of the same way with investments and retirement planning. You can be the smartest person in the world, you know, coming up with all these calculations and, and everything else, but if you don't understand how these investments are directly impacting your Social Security income or your pensions or your trust and will planning and all the rest of it tied together, 
that's where you need to bring in somebody that specializes in that area and is up on the latest products and services that are available out there. And Rick Rivera and the team at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, they are. If you'd like to sit down with them and talk about your situation, have a strategy and a plan for income, investment, taxes, health care, legacy planning, Social Security, Medicare, it's all a part of the big picture blueprint. That's the five pillars, if you will. Then you throw in Social Security and the income part. You throw in Medicare and the health care part. Uh, that's really the deal is you need a plan for all of those areas. You can always call the team. Rick and the team are here to help. 800-700-1980. No cost, no obligation to sit down with them. 800 700 1980. There's no cost for this. Why would you not find out where you are on that road to retirement? 800 700 1980. All right. I always think, you know, I told you earlier that I, I love sports and the, the psychology of sport. Golf is a game that is all driven by a thought, right? The ball just doesn't go automatically where you want it to go. And so there's a lot of different, you know, rhythm and tempo and all those kind of things. And, you know, being a pitcher in baseball, you're controlling the action. The batter's reacting. So there's different sports and how things work with the mind. In the financial world, you sit down with individuals and married couples, when, and you have maybe one that's a spender, one that's a saver. Now, you might even in a married couple have, Rick, somebody that's a spender, and then the other one's a saver. How does that work? But the spender-saver theory, because I know you see that at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, right? Wow, yeah. Um, it's funny. I was just thinking about that uh, right before you mentioned it. Yeah, we have some people that are um, save, 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 can't get them to spend. And, you know, there's 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 a variety of reasons why uh, that could happen, whether, again, fear, it could be uh, the way they grew up, you know, had one person tell me the reason why they don't spend and is because of, you know, uh, what they've seen their parents go through. And then you have others are just opposite end of the equation uh, that they spend too much and now they don't have a retirement and they're stressing. So at the end of the day, it's a scenario where we have to have balance. And sometimes, let's face it, we may need to bring somebody in to help us to try to create that balance or that perfect harmony, especially if it's, if it's in a married couple's life. If you got one, you know, one spouse is the opposite of the other, you know, and they're Opposites going attract. at each other. Opposite. You know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I guess so. So that's where, you know, we can actually step in and then each spouse doesn't have to be the bad guy, so to speak. We can actually show them, hey, here's some strategies that our own clients have used over the years to get over this hump. You know, hey, you can buy that car. Out. You can take that trip. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You know, so, I mean, what are we saving this all for? You know, if we're not going to be able to be in a, a position where we can enjoy it. But then at the same time, you know, we won't spend it all either. So that way, you know, we're not, we don't have to worry about, you know, watching every nickel and dime every month and, and, and have to worry about, you know, whether you have to get the what the off label brand at the right, grocery store. Right, or not. Right, right. And my mom, she's 86. Um, we're, she's we're, maybe we're going to be moving her to assisted living. I can't say that's an exciting time, but it is a part of, of retirement and aging. Uh, things are getting more difficult, but I take them shopping her and her, her boyfriend at 87. Um, and oh that's a challenge is, well, we can't get that roast. It's too expensive. And I'm like, what are you talking about? You can get the roast. If you want the roast, get the roast. And I mean, it's, they're not really sure. They're more confused maybe than they had been in the past. Final, final lesson on this behavior around finances. Again, Morgan Housel is the author of the book, The Psychology of Money. We're talking about that. And Rick, here's an interesting one. This will be the final quote of the day here from, from, from Morgan. He says, one of his first jobs was as a valet at a fancy hotel in LA, and he learned a lot from being around a lot of very wealthy people all the time. I think what was really interesting to me was getting to know some of these people who were driving Ferraris and Rolls Royces. Some of them actually were not even that wealthy. They were like mediocre, successful people who spent half their income on a, on a car lease payment. And that to me was really astounding because that just blew apart all of the impressions my first impressions that I had of these people. So that was a really formative experience that taught me a lot about the psychology of money. You know, and, and I think a lot of times uh, when I coached golf at Kansas State, for example, one of the wealthiest, in, you know, uh, boosters of the, of, the, of the university was a farmer. He'd come in in overalls. He'd be one of the last people just by looking at him that he was probably the wealthiest dude in the room. You can't really judge a book by its cover. And it is interesting. I, Ferrari, how cool would that be? That'd be fun. But, I mean, we have to be wise with our money, don't we? Yeah, absolutely. And it's funny that he mentioned being a valet. Actually, I was a valet myself when I was going to junior college 
and uh, I worked for the Palm Desert Marriott, and um, it's a pretty high-end hotel. I drove a lot of nice cars. It was probably one of the funnest jobs I had. Um, you didn't get to drive I, home, though. No, no. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, I can't say that, you know, I, 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 I you know, got to know the people that, that, that came in, but it's obvious that, you know, everybody's in different situations. And, yeah, you're right. You can't judge a book by a cover. Some of those people were renting those cars for the weekend. Some right. of those people, you know, you don't know if they – inherited the money and just blew it all on, uh, on you know, on, on a nice new car or, you know, what their situation is. But at the end of the day, you know, bottom line, whatever your particular situation is, you know, it's one of those things where it can't hurt to sit down, whether it's us or somebody else, to sit down with somebody that specializes in this area and have them guide you, be a team member on your side, kind of like a coach, right? You know, I think I think a lot of people are scared to to see advisors because they think they're going to sell them a product. Where in essence, we're more of a coach on your side, helping you not just set up the initial plan, but maintain it and consistently educate you on it. And as your lifestyle changes and your situations change, we're there to help you adjust. You know, so it's not like, you know, as a coach, you know, you just don't, you know, give one of your students a, a one lesson for the day and leave them off. No, you're constantly helping them improve and grow and adjust. And I'm sure sometimes you even have to be a little bit of a psychologist with some of your with your um, kids that you're coaching because yeah. of whatever's going on in their personal life. Yeah, absolutely. So, all right. Well, as we wrap this up again, the number to chat with the team, you want to sit down with Rick Rivera and the team at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group and go, wow, I've never really thought about all of this when it comes to my own retirement. I don't really know. I think I'm going to be okay. I hope I'm okay, but I don't really know. Why not find out? 800-700-1980. 800-700-1980. No cost for this. Uh, Rick, so as we do that, what are the what's the what's what's your guarantee? Well, here's the thing. If you come in, I tell you what, take advantage of that consultation. All I need is 45 minutes of your time, and I can guarantee you within 45 minutes, I'll be able to give you at least two ideas that will be able to enhance what it is you've 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 already been able to accomplish and it'll cost you nothing to do. 800-700-1980, 800-700-1980. Glad you're with us today for Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Have a great week. Rick and I'll be back with more next weekend. Thanks a lot, Mark. Firm offers insurance services. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is a registered investment advisory firm. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any references to protection, safety, or lifetime income generally refer to fixed insurance products, never securities, or investments. Insurance guarantees are backed by the financial strength and claims-paying abilities of the issuing carrier. This radio show is intended for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual's situation. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is not permitted to offer and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. The information and opinions contained herein provided by third parties have been obtained from sources believed to be reliable, but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC.